So then, we are back with more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation, and the uh, Megillah of the Hebrews, very important understanding these days, as we understand the uh, Holy Tabernacles, they went in these repairs centuries ago, and um, the presence of the Creator was then earlier found with His Son, be ministered in each of the tabernacles and the Megillah of the Hebrews then shows us the importance of this topic related with the services of then the priests as we understand um, Gentiles they have limited um, activity regarding these tabernacles as we understand the word um, elect or set apart those are related with the Hebrews however there is a point in fifth chapter of Hebrews where then Shaul the Shaliak he was explaining because of the lack of understanding from the Hebraic people of the grace imputed in the Torah it is required a teacher then to teach them the first principles of the oracles this topic then relates of a person or persons explaining and teaching the Hebrews very unusual but this is precisely what then Shaul is explaining because Shaul the Shaliak he had a very in-depth understanding of the renewed covenant and also he did understand a factor of his own countrymen coming against him because he was then teaching the salvation of the Gentiles and not only the supremacy of the Hebraic people. Then he states very clearly that then it is requiring then a teacher to teach them the first principles of the oracles of Elohim or Yahweh the Creator very important these days because as we understand church in fact does not exist when it relates with the original manuscripts we understand that later the Hebraic people they did not do their job they did not maintain themselves in their tabernacles servicing the Son or then the Messiah because of these then there were other areas that were explored and those areas unfortunately are not in line with the holy understanding of the Torah, the Prophets and the Writings. That's why Shaul and the Shaliak explained what it was in a teacher requiring to teach them the first principles of the oracles of Elohim in light of the grace imputed in the Torah so then these days as we understand the uh, tabernacles are returning because the time of the seat is ending as we understand the twistings and the uh, involvement with the paganism and the uh, holy understanding of the uh, tabernacles from the time of Moses regarding the renewed covenant then those tabernacles are returning because revelation is coming and revelation is in fact the autumn feast and the autumn feast as we understand it is in fact starting or there is a pre starting of it because the weather is becoming warmer and as we understand revelation from the first chapter until up to the third there is a prelude of it and then you understand very clearly the warming of the planet so the scriptures are reliable and the uh, important point is understanding the importance of the tabernacles so then we can line up ourselves with the uh, renewed covenant based from the original prophetic line of understanding of the prophetic shadows so then, going on with it, the importance of 
understanding the tabernacles and where to get the rest of the understandings obviously a person would always point to the camp however we don't have very many camps around anymore so then requires a teacher to teach then the Hebraic people what it meant and what Ruach HaKodesh was doing the work and sometimes they are very prideful they don't understand and uh, they think they are only the uh, supreme people when they are not because Shaul Shaliak stated very plainly the lack of understanding of grace imputed in the Torah for the salvation of the Gentiles so please stay tuned much more coming up because then the areas of Shaul and what he was explaining and obviously these areas in 99 and a half of the entire teaching of the renewed covenant those are neutral areas those are not related with manipulation they are not related with trade they are not manipulating with uh, deceiving the people those people in the camps they were representatives of the very creator himself and they had to remain then neutral in order for the people to have the liberty of making decisions so please stay tuned much more coming up